Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, your boys over here, <laughs> and we're looking at our um, the Dome 1300 Rhino Rack. And at the moment, it's pretty wet outside. As you can see, it's um, it's raining. Oh, it's been raining on and off mm. all night last night. Yeah. It hasn't and, really, um, like, you know, if it hasn't been heavy, it's just been... Nah, but in the last, like, 20 minutes, yeah. it's really, really picked up yeah. quite a lot. So It's nice, though. Yeah, yeah, it's it good. good. It's good. But what isn't nice is when uh, awnings leak. So what we're looking at today is we're just going to have a quick look around the awning and just see um, how things are going. For the most part, I slept under it last night and there weren't any issues. It was fine. Um, it's yeah. just a little bit narrow here on those sections there and there. We talked about that, um, Alex and I. And probably getting some sort of screen here would be good. That's probably, uh, that's probably mm. needed. But um, I guess what I'm worried about, and you can see some of those drips there too, can't you, Alex? Yeah, um, it's along the, along the side. Yeah, so I'm a little bit worried about that. So let's have a bit of a look at that right now and kind of see. Well, we'll start with the good points. Yeah. So what do you like about the awning, Alex? I reckon the height. The height's definitely... It's pretty good, eh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're a tall fella. Yeah, it's definitely a, um, yeah, a positive for sure. Yeah. Yeah, just... Super tall. Yeah. The rain doesn't doesn't accumulate at the top. No, no, it's good. I guess like it's also canvas too, isn't it? So, yeah. On the outside, which is pretty uh, nice. Yeah. Pretty nice quality. Yeah. So it's yeah. not leaking through at the top here, which is good. That's that's one of the main concerns, yeah. isn't it? When you're under. Yeah. When you're under it. Um, yeah. Seems pretty pretty like heavy duty too. Mm. As well. Yeah, I reckon you could be pretty rough with it, with it, yeah. and it will and it'll and it'll take it. Um, so I was just looking around. So some of the negatives is that it's, well, <laughs> it's a bit difficult to put up. It is. Yeah. From yesterday. <laughs> so when I speed it up on the camera, yeah. it looks easy to put up because you can't really see how much I'm struggling with it. Yeah. But in real life, it does take a few minutes extra just yeah. to get, I don't, I don't know what it is, whether it's a technique I'm using, yeah. or whatever, but geez, those poles are hard to put up. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It just folds away into into that there absolutely That's yeah this. it's 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 a huge amount yeah so we have all this here yeah you know and it all folds yeah. away into this tiny little awning here yeah so i guess some of the downsides that i've just noticed is i noticed quite a fair bit of water gathering on my battery in yeah. here so if i open up this little section here you can kind of see that there's a little bit of water left over on the top there um from just wiping it off and that's a bit of an issue because when I had the door open, it was trickling down. So not this door here, but when I had the swing out door open, that was causing um, some water to get in because of this right here. So you can see that there's quite a bit of water yeah, building already. up there. I think it's from the top part of the bag. So maybe there's a way I can fold it back, but at the moment, it's just leaking crazy at the moment. Like it's going down here, running mm. down. This side seems to be the worst, this yeah. part here. Yeah. So you see it's gathering there. And then it just drips down and then into the yeah. car. Mm. So at the moment, I can't see a reasonable way to get that bag in a way for it to not collect water and to drip it down there. So that's one thing that's annoying me at the moment is if I have this swing swing arm out and the swing door open, it's just mm. water's just pouring into the into the car because the back of this here kind of comes out a bit more from the roof line of the car. Um, and we're getting the same thing over here, and we're getting the same thing over here as yeah. well. So some more places that we've noticed, uh, maybe some weaknesses, is where the kind of the tent pole yeah. section to make up the dome. It comes down to a pocket. That's what it sits in on the top, and it is causing a little bit of um, it is causing a little bit of water to be mm. gathering there, uh, which is which is a bit yeah. of a problem. Um, yeah, it sort of like dips down here too, so water sits. Yeah, so once that dome part yeah. stops, I see what you mean. Yeah. Once that dome part stops, it sort of flattened out a bit. Too. You can see the water's just yeah. sitting on there. Yeah. And that was what I was hearing during the night because I slept kind of lengthways down here, and it see it, that was fine. Mm. That was that wasn't an issue at all. But then yeah. every now and then I just hear yeah. a bunch of water just come down. <laughs> I think that was from this section there. Yeah. With that water just coming down yeah. there. Yeah. So, in terms of just a bit of a, I guess I mean, it's a first review. Yeah, I mean, you know, you keep, it keeps you 90% dry most of the time. Hey? Yeah, yeah. You know, as long as you yeah. um, can sleep under it and not get wet during the night. Yeah. No, I think we'll, 
Yeah, it does the job. As long as I job. keep the door shut or yeah. I use this, if you don't have that, like you're a Prado owner that has the wheel on the back, you don't have this. So that would be a problem for you because you're just going to have water going into your car the yeah. whole time. So yeah. unless you get some, some sort of mount and maybe that fixes it, I don't know. But at this point, it looks good. I like it. It's a it's a good awning. But I think also too, we, um, mm. the, you know, I mean, it's tough because it's not the top of the range one, but it's not the bottom yeah. of the range one either. Yeah. So in terms of like a, I guess a, an initial, an initial review, it's good, but it's a bit difficult mm. to set up, and I'm getting worried about these little, these little sections here where the yeah. seams are because they're not waterproof, and it's looking like they that they could just leak, especially if we have heavier rain. Yeah, that's Imagine true. if we're here during the wet Feels season. like a downpour maybe. Thing. If we're here during the wet season, we're gonna have major problems. So, um, and this, and then the whole ground's gonna get wet, wet down here if I'm sleeping underneath here. Yeah. So, yeah. something to think about. But initial review is, pretty good. I right? think it's good. I think it's good. Um, I think it's worth the money. It's not too expensive. It's something like 400-ish, something yeah. like that. So that's not too bad. And, um, but yeah, so for now, not bad. But just a couple of things I'm just going to watch out for for the long-term review for sure. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys. It's just a little bit of an impromptu video, but it was raining. We figured, why not? Let's have yeah. a look at it while it's raining. Yeah. It was a good opportunity. And, um, and yeah, and hopefully some of these things we can kind of fix up as, as we're going. So thanks for, thanks for watching, guys.